Hey there everyone and welcome back to some more Destroy All Humans 2 Reprobed. Now I remember I had said back when I was playing this game, I think I was only like halfway through it, not even done with it. That if you guys wanted, I would play the uh challenge accepted DLC pack. Didn't really get any uh actual voice from that and ha uh, I am Last through the game like I originally planned, so it was spread out among like uh, two, three months, something like that, just for the main campaign. Anyways, I had 100% this a uh, couple months ago. Well, I guess not a couple months ago, a few months ago, I think back in the spring. Anyways, since DLC pack was only 10 bucks, thought, hey, might as well get it. And, uh,. I've been kind of sitting on it for a while. I was planning on originally recording it, uploading it in October. You know, month of spooky, because that would make sense. And now it's November when I'm recording this. Bad timing on my part, 100%. But I thought, hey, let's at least just uh, do the challenges. Put in one video for you guys and kind of have maybe like some update stuff in here for you. Just talk about stuff. I do think all these challenges are probably pretty basic. A lot of it's the same stuff that you had in the first one. Rampage, Abduction, Race, Armageddon. I don't think there's any special uh, dialogue lines, so... Yeah, because you got Armageddon, Intel, Race, Sage of Ground, blow up the nuke vans. Oh, that's kind of cool. Now let's see if it just throws us right in. Contextually appropriate idiom loaded blow them sky high. Oh, destroy everything but the nukes are multipliers. I see. Kinda understand. Kinda don't understand. How do you change? Ah, here we go. Of course, I do have all the upgrades since I had 100% of this game, so this shouldn't be too hard to do. Because I'm not aiming to uh, perfect these, but I'd like to at least play them once. At least play them once. If we can uh, at least get one success, I'll be happy. Oh, and it'll tell you I want to start achieved. Okay. Cool. And we got time. We could probably knock out at least two. Plus, I would hope so. One. First area. Because I don't know if this challenge accepted uh, DLC pack is also under the idea that you've, uh, 100% everything, or not. Oh, wow. And we already got it. That's awesome. That was quite easy, actually. By the way, it's with it being into November. Uh, it's kind of turning into, at least for me, because I really want to keep things moving forward, but I do also want to finish up stuff from this year. That's us in such a uh, bad habit with it. Was we're still going to be doing some new games later this year and keeping up on it, but also we're going to be finishing up some games from earlier this year. Such as Final Fantasy 16. I'm trying to put some more books on that to get that done. Uh, we're still going to do uh, Naruto Connections when it comes out. And we're going to do Like a Dragon Gaiden when that comes out in just a few days. Well, that's it? Okay. Yeah, so really there's not much to these challenges. Alright. So order doesn't really matter. Chakra point. 
Uh, and I'm doing this early in the morning, so it's kind of a warm-up for me. For warming up my vocal cords. Since... Destruction and collect music. Okay. That's kind of cool. I got the challenge accepted little emblem popping out the middle. But anyways, after this, I'm going to... You have to place the combat in order to accurately assess strengths and weaknesses. Multiplier, kill them with dislocator. Hmm. All right. But anyways, I'm I'm warming up with this game. So uh, next from this will be. Uh, from recording today, and it's not from this game specifically, will be the DLC for Dead Island 2, the uh, house DLC. Which I meant to play yesterday afternoon, but oh well. We're getting there. Kind of intrigued on where that went. That's going because they made the DLC sound interesting, as well as Dead Island 2. Actually, it was not a bad game. It was actually pretty good. And I'm surprised we are taking all this gunfire and not dying. <laughs> I forgot the funny comments from this game, too. Which, actually, I really do hope they remaster or at least port the uh, Path of the Furon game, because, ironically, I love the series, but I've never played it, just because I didn't know it was on PS3 until I was into my adult life, and by that time, it was uh, pretty expensive to get. I didn't have a lot of uh, passive income to get it, and now, I've checked a few times, and you can't really find that game that much. It's a hard to find game, which is very surprising. Since. Well, I guess technically it's not a numbered entry, but. It does follow the uh, main line. Ah, oh, man, doing this, I have flashbacks too. <laughs> how tough some of them, the challenges were in the first one to get the three-star ranking on. Those were not fun. Well, fun to do once. Not fun when you're trying to perfect it. Did I hit retry? No, no, I, I three-starred it. We're not doing it again. That's not happening. Please tell me it keeps the three stars too. Hopefully. I forgot how long this game takes to load, and I'm surprised it does. Because this is also the PS5 version of the game. Yep, cool. It did keep three stars. Excellent. Ah, race. I'm surprised there's so many on the map, too. Right, catch the pseudo pox unit. Most probably click the hamsters. Oh, man, I forgot how. Slipper the controls were. This, I won't be surprised if we don't get three stars on right away.
Okay, this is the most challenging yet, I've gotta say. I've got my booster pack uh, all the way upgraded. But I am still absolutely terrified that was gonna run out. Dang, really? That wasn't that hard. Quite surprised. I think I actually could have missed like two or three of those, those little uh, data packs and still gotten gold. You want a piece of this action? <laughs> Very surprising. Wait. Who's that? All right, let's okay. keep going along the lower island here. Not Lower Island, uh, the lower part. They'll probably just end on the island, I guess. And for the rest of the channel, too, for, uh, what game I'll do, I'll be continuing after, uh, Final Fantasy 16. I'm not sure, I'll have to double check, so I'll, I'm trying to, trying to go in order. But we'll see how that, well that works. Oh no, it's one of these. Crud. You damn give me my What? I know the most fire was dead soldiers. Hold on, man. I'll be really easy then. back enough to heal. As long as you get one star, I could be happy. That's all I care about right now. Oh no, 14 seconds. Can I get it? Ew. If I'd realized Dead Soldiers was multiplier, I think I would have had it. Crud. We were six away. But yeah, for right this time, too, uh, for things that I'm uploading on the channel, I'm uploading the Marvel Spider-Man 2 stuff, uploading the Mirage stuff, because Mirage is also uh, completely done for everything. Minus the uh, contract boards, but those are kind of easy enough stuff that I don't really think justify making a single video for it, because there's not really much special besides the rewards. But other than that, there's Final Fantasy 16. Uh, there will be Like a Dragon Gaiden when it comes out. That'll probably be the next uh, major one. Which I'm definitely looking forward to that. That 
was an awesome reference. I give you my legs. I don't know if you guys heard that, but uh, one of the ladies said, I loved you in 2001. Which is when the first game came out. Just a very awesome reference. I feel that might have been an original line, though, from the first game. Regardless, still very cool. Yeah, so far a lot of these are pretty easy. Ball soap makes sense because they kind of just took what they had and modified a little bit to make challenges. But yeah, I know I'm not going to be able to finish Final Fantasy 16 before like a uh, Gaiden comes out, but you'll definitely see some uploads from that game. I'm gonna mainly focus on, uh, like Dragon Gaiden, though, for sure. For when that comes out. Because I wanna... What I plan to get on is essentially focus on the new games first, and then have like a secondary series usually running at the same time. Whether it's going towards uh, a sequel or it's, which is like doing an older game, or if it's another uh, new release that happens to be like longer or something. Oh, actually, you know what? I I realized probably what I'll do after Final Fantasy 16 because I still got to do a lot of grinding for it to even find out where the six toughest enemies are is Immortals of Avium. Which, in itself, it's a fun game, but boy does it get uh, repetitive and stuff for the side collectibles. Because I'm also trying to platinum the game. So you gotta collect all the gold chests too. All the gold chests, uh, do all of the portals, for those challenges that also give you rewards. Uh, got a lot to do and a lot of it's just very, very tedious. I tried looking up a map at one point too, trying to clear out the first area. Holy crap, is that a mess. Don't get a and I remember I was working on that back in, I think, early October. That just kind of stopped because I got burnt out. That's kind of what happened with a few of these series, actually, is, is the fact that it's not that I don't want to uh, complete them for you guys. I'd love to complete them. It's more the fact that some of those games are extremely fun to play all the way through, and then others have their uh, their low points that you go, well, it's fun and all, but uh, X game is better than it. Which I hate to do, because uh, I do like to start a game and finish it before going on to another one. Especially 100%ing if I plan on 100%ing. But, did we get two or three on this? Oh, we're so close to three. But sadly on the channel, especially this year, this year and last year, that didn't always seem to happen. Can I help you? That's why I hate looking on the channel and seeing all the yeah. uncomplete series. Especially because it looked like some of them Hopefully you guys really liked, because I saw actually more views, but I didn't really get back into to finish. Yes. So I certainly will. I, I've got the list, I just gotta look at uh, what order to do them in. Because I also have to get back to the uh, JRPGs. 
Take soldier grenades. Okay. Wait, gather explosions? Huh? Ex ex explosions or explosives? I... don't get it. What? Oh, okay. So I'm not blowing them up, I'm throwing the explosives up into the tractor beam. Gotcha. That makes a lot more sense. Probably gonna fail this one though. Oh yeah, we're we're definitely gonna fail this one. There's no way I'm gonna miraculously find enough explosives. Just how we restart this challenge then. Why? Why call it explosions? Or am I reading it wrong? It's actually explosives. Never mind. Never mind. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. It actually is explosives. Okay, yeah, this one is definitely going to be the hardest one here. Crud. You gotta time everything well. It's hard to time it well, because I don't know when they're gonna throw them. I guess not throw them up, shoot their grenades. star here. Yes! Uh, I'm definitely gonna try to at least get two star, but I don't know how well that, or likely that is. Whoa! Let me throw that guy. Okay, I don't understand how I'm getting launched up so high, but whatever. It's kind of working. I think we got two. Two star, four short, that's whatever. Now to the next area. Yeah, that took like 25 minutes, okay. So since there's five areas, it'll probably be like an 
hour and a half video, somewhere around there. Hour and a half, hour 40. Yep, because there's five. Yep, they're all for 21. I'll be honest, after starting this, I'm kind of slightly regretting it. But it's only because there's so many and there's only so much variety you can do. It's fun. But I see why they have it as DLC. Just because the original game didn't have it. So you don't know how many people actually want to do these. I was wrong with that. I'd say I think it's cool enough to at least give them a try. Alright, blow up the nuke vans as multiple. Again? Seriously? Okay. Expect something different. Right, here's where they actually start getting defenses against me. Forgot about that. strong the sonic boom is. That big building. But surprisingly, Albion's is actually a little bit tougher. Which is weird. You wouldn't think it would be. Everything's kind of more uh, compact. More compact and uh, stuck together. This guy be good, worth a good amount, right? Should be able to blow it up or raise it down. I mean, you can catch it on fire, so why wouldn't you be able to burn it to the ground? Parliament, okay. That's that's what I thought it was, but I wasn't entirely sure. Man, these ones are easy with the walls of fire. I mean I was worried at first, but I didn't really struggle to get up to it. Ugh. 
Oh, like I said before, it helps having everything fully upgraded. All my weapons, my ship upgrades, uh, cryptos upgrades. Have the uh, DNA harvester upgrades, which I guess is kind of the crypto upgrades. All right, on to the next one. Ah, oh, yes, Albion. I missed the missions here. Honestly, I think Albion's missions were probably... A lot of them, anyways, were probably some of my favorites in this game. Like when we get captured by a... Ponzenby. His brain extract or anal probe to kill the hippies and gotcha. Um... Let's do the anal probe then. Okay, never mind. Brain extract with the uh, DNA harvest might actually be the better out. Oh, nice. Okay, there's a lot of hippies here. Good, 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 good. I was kind of worried about that. That's right, just don't kill the hippies. Let's spy the brain extract. Or in a probe. This might actually help just killing the cops first with this. Funny enough. I should probably stop hanging around here so much though. Just keep going. Oh, the mother load. Yes, the brain extract will work. Okay, this one I like. Because it's a little challenging, but also they're all right there. So if you can get a good system, you can just keep on rocking. Thank goodness, though, the brain extraction is so infectious. This is quite fun. Kind of makes you feel overpowered with those upgrades, honestly. Oh no, I don't think we will be able to get three star. Holy crap, that's not good. I can't believe that was actually challenging. I'm glad. Glad, because if it weren't, well, that would be too easy. I said, come out. Uh -huh. Yes? Yeah. Yes, yes, what is it? No, no. Oh, no. What's this? What is it? But also, even if these aren't really that challenging, it's at least good to see the area again. 
fake rooftop items. Okay. The bonus is taking hippie stuff. Alright, then here's the good question. What exactly makes a hippie thing? Besides the couch. Oh, couch, bing bag. Drunk, gotcha. Stereotypical stuff. Why in the world is this moving away so fast? Thought wanted me to grab rooftop stuff. Difficult when it keeps moving away. Uh, I don't know any best way for this, then. This one is definitely probably gonna be a one star, then. At least I hope I get one star on this. Holy jeez. Come on, let's get one star. People don't count. Why would they? Hey, one star, good. Let's see if we get two. This one's actually challenging as well. I wonder if these challenges will get progressively tougher though. Not as easy as the first ones were. Since the first ones, a lot of them I get a three star without trying. These, no. Interesting. And now we got another race here. I think What's they got set on? for how many of each. Uh, type of thing, type of challenge, too. Might be two of each, actually. I have... Actually, no, I don't think it is two of each. No, no, we'll check next time I'm on the map. What the guy? did like about the chasing the uh, pox drones though challenges was the fact on it sent you around the area so you could actually see a lot of the uh, cool stuff that you might have missed when uh, going across the world for all the uh, main missions, side missions, contracts, all that good jazz I'm surprised Parliament is still on fire on this. Oh, come on, keep going, keep going. Set only halfway. Yeah, 
Man, these races are getting longer. Normally I can hold my finger on the uh, skate button the whole time. Not in this. I think it slipped off like twice. Oh, are we still gonna get three? Yeah. Look at this one was tougher, but still forgiving. Excellent. So anyways, versus on this map, you got two race, two of the rampages, two abductions, one arm again. Okay. I think so. Yeah, pretty sure that's the pattern all of them have had so far. Actually. I see who's there. So those numbers make sense, though. Just because 7 times 3 gives you the 21. 7 events, 3 star max. Destroy the vehicles, destroy the buses, simply. Alright. Just destroy them, I guess? Alright. Ah, it's only destroying vehicles, I see. Sense then, just pick up the smaller vehicles and throw them into the bigger. Especially if buses are the multiplier. I mean, then, dang, let's make it easier on ourselves. Oh, I can pick up the buses, sweet. Crud, now comes the tougher part. Oh, you know what? I am dead. Durr. Because I can shoot it. I can choose one to blow it up. because the streets here are so narrow. Like, it's not the streets. It's just you can find the stuff down the alley, so... Got how big the range of the meteors are. from a three star. <sighs> I'll admit these are still kind of fun. Some a little tedious, but fun. 
Now we got two more in Albion and then to move on to took uh, Japan. Yeah. Yep, because it's Albion to I forget the place in Japan and then to uh, the place in Russia. Which I'm thinking Tokyo and Tuscany, but I'm pretty sure I'm wrong in both cases, honestly. Yeah, I do know if they did do a remake or or a master, or just bringing it to modern consoles, I would definitely play uh, Path of Furon. Since I've seen the walk, seen a walkthrough of it uh, a couple times. Kind of usually had it playing in the background, except for the first time I watched it, because I was very curious about how the game played and the story. Really good. I liked it. And it's still got the stuff that makes Stroud humans uh, fun and funny a good game to actually play and get a laugh out of. But anyways, that one would be awesome. Uh, Big Willy would even be one I would play, but I remember that was one that was released back on the Wii. So, I don't really see them remastering that one. I would love if they did though, because they could do a lot of cool stuff with the modern controls. Just an idea, THQ Nordic. But anyways, with the reception that they've gotten over these last two games, it wouldn't be a surprise if they actually do remaster, or even if they try their hand at a brand new one. But if they're going to do their hands at a brand new one, then they will probably want to at least remaster the third one to make it available for more people to play. Plus the Path of the Furon had some pretty cool different abilities about it too. Which made it very different than the rest that you play. Like even vastly different than Destroy All Humans 2. Which basically takes what the first one had Makes it better, different story, you know, that kind of stuff. Take all unexpected wheel to transport. Wait, what do you mean by unexpected? Okay, I see. Like trikes and bicycles. What is it? What is it? Yeah. Scooters and Okay, I get it. Funny. I say come out of them. Cause it's all not your classic vehicles. Oh, all humans speak? You know, this is why I should probably read those a bit more. I mean, I get this just because I missed people. I do not know who Princess Margaret is. That might be something I should actually look up. 
might be some actual uh, history there. Gotta get ahead of it then. I wonder how true that was back then that whenever there was ridiculous things, they would say, oh, it's the Americans. Got two star. That's okay. You know, actually, if there's any people uh, from an er in Europe, actually, from anywhere, if that's actually a common thing said, is oh, it's the Americans. Uh, please let me know in the comments. I am actually genuinely curious on how common that is actually said. Especially nowadays. Nope, didn't much do that. Want to. Navicon, there we go. Takashima and Tunguska. That's the places. Eh, already almost at an hour. We got this place and two more regions to go. <clears throat> so it might be actually closer to two hours. I hope not. Just because I would like to get a good chunk of the Dead Rising 2 DLC done this morning. Don't think that's going to happen at this rate, though. Especially also because it does depend on my throat. Just because it's gonna, getting a bit dry. So it's, uh, here where I'm at, we're starting to get some uh, cold weather. Get more into winter weather. So it's getting pretty dry. So if I do sound a little bit off, that's why actually. <laughs> Alright, use D-Ray. Kill multiple enemies. But what's you. oh, centigrade array? Kind of think about that for a moment. Kill multiple enemies at once. Oh, so just count, just uh. I mean, how close does it have to be to count as kill as kill uh, at once? Oh crud! I gotta kill the Axa. Not the Russians. This might be a little bit more challenging then. Let's see, Akusa all lined up. I mean, so far, still killing the Russians. That's good. You know what? The main thing is just to kill them. This. Oh, we got the one star. Took us long enough. 
So wait, we gotta stay in this area? Really? There doesn't seem like many here, but okay. Gotta live, gotta live. Come on, health. Dang, that is my worst one yet. I'm sure there's a trick to get three star on that. Obviously, with the disintegrate array. Cool, now onto the race. Takashima, I think, is area wise probably my favorite, though. I don't know, maybe it's just because it has that Japanese aesthetic to it. But I think it's really cool and enjoy it. That's kind of one thing that a uh, few modern games have had nowadays that, even if they're not great, that kind of aesthetic is very um, pleasing and intriguing to people. Which is very cool and good for Japan to have have it where uh, there are games that actually want to capture the vibe and aesthetic that their land actually has. I mean, heck, one game I really want to get back to because they actually had an update for it, even though I have the whole game platinum prior to the update is the game Ghostwire Tokyo. Uh, now I've heard, like, people... A lot of people didn't really care for the game too much. Just because they thought it was pretty basic, very uninteresting. Don't know about them, why they felt that way, but I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the... Like I said, the Japanese aesthetic of the region, uh, the lore, the different kind of enemies instead of just being zombies it's actually these otherworldly uh, creatures and beings they're actually from uh, actual lore as well as the combat with the different elements is very cool kind of like Immortals Avium in a way but honestly done uh, I don't, don't want to beat down too hard on our morals of Avium, but honestly done better. And I think one thing that makes it actually better too is the fact that even though there's tedium of uh, collecting spirits, collecting companions, and a few other collectibles, is they aren't mandatory like in Immortals Avium. Uh, they can help you if you collect them. And it's more in how they help you when, they, when you collect them that make the that make it a lot better. That was oddly loud. Yeah, at least in Ghostwire Tokyo, when you collect them, I was shy of three star, or whatever. But at least in Ghostwire Tokyo, when you collect them, you can actually put that towards. Uh, because I, I think it was when you collect the spirits. And you free them, you gain experience, if I remember correctly. But I do remember that then, essentially, it's kind of essential, as well as non-essential. As you come across spirits, you can collect them. And they're very easy to come across. And they have it better marked for each district, so you know how many you're looking for. And as you collect them, you can actually use them for very, very useful upgrades. Instead of just a chance for, like, resources or something. Which is kind of what a lot of Morals of Avian really was with the chest system. Pick up, uh, hoping you get something 
good, something useful. Sometimes you would, other times not so much. The body's flying everywhere. It's so hard to actually kill the Akaza here and throw them in. Ah, police, of course. Oh, speaking of Yakuza, actually, that is a series I would love to actually play on the channel for you guys. I've just got to find the best uh, time and way to do it. Because I will say now in this video as well, that I am going to do uh, uh, Yakuza 8 uh, Infinite Well. That I'm definitely doing on the channel when it releases next year. And it's also why I want to do Like Dragon Gaiden, because that's still a kind of a pretty much a Yakuza game. I want to get that up on the channel, that up on the channel, and play through it before uh, Like Dragon comes out. We'll, we'll just hang up here and make sure not to die. Which also, I think Like a Dragon was prob... Like a Dragon, uh... Oh, no, sorry. Yakuza, Like a Dragon. Which even though it was a chain for the series, I thought it was a really fun and cool game. With a good story. And besides that, the actual Yakuza games I've played... I've played through and beaten main story-wise 0 and 1 and 7, which the uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon is number 7. So as you can see, just in that statement, I've missed uh, quite a bit of Yakuza. But that's also because I got into Yakuza uh, quite a bit later. I got into 0 and Kiwami around the same time, and I played through Kiwami back in... Ah, uh, it was either the year that Kiwami released, or it was the year after it, which was like 2016, 2017, when Kiwami and Zero both came out, because I believe they both came out the same year. I think it might came out in Japan... 16 and the US 17, I guess. But anyways, played through Kiwami. Thought it was really fun. Didn't 100% complete it, but I was trying. There's just so much to it. Zero, essentially same thing. Like a dragon. I wanted to, but because I was recording stuff at the time. But because I was recording stuff at the time, I had a. Uh, I didn't really have the time to, especially because I wanted to record it, put it on the channel. It wasn't. It was a uh, non commentary too, so I changed to the commentary style for my videos. Kind of just uh, dropped that. Drop that idea anyways, but didn't drop the idea that I would love, and will at some point, get back to playing that game. I just know when I do play it, it will be a time consumer, because, you know, JRPG. It's only natural. I seriously have to heal here. That was going to be a bad pretty quick. Uh, 
This, this is pretty chaotic, so it sounded like I was scrambling for uh, when I was talking. It's because I was. Just because there's so much going on right now. I'm not even seeing half the guys here. Most of the time. Oh, we're somehow at two stars, so that's good. Uh, we might get two stars on this. It'll be close. Oh, never mind. We got it. Cool. The uh, Kiwami and Zero were actually my intros to the Yakuza series. And personally, I could outright say it's from what I've played and seen for them. They're, it's a good series with good stories. And just solid fun combats. That's also why I like doing the Judgment games. Because they are from the same creators. The Ryo Gagotoku? Ooh. Hopefully I didn't butcher that when I'm pronouncing it, but that is uh, the ones who create the Yakuza series and pretty sure created the Yakuza series. Yeah, pretty sure they created the Yakuza series and they made the same uh, combat system they've used through most of the games. And honestly, they've done a fantastic job in my opinion. Always very fun to look forward to whenever I've played their uh, Yakuza games. Or I guess their games in general, really. If we're including the uh, Judgment. Oh! Actually, I could talk about a, uh, a missed game from this year that I want to play, I just don't know where in the world to fit it in. And that is... Uh, like a Dragon Ishin. It's the first time you can play that game outside of just a uh, J uh, Japan or Japanese uh, export, import, Japanese import game. I pre-ordered it and everything, and I cannot remember why I did not start it at the time, but I totally regret it because that is a game I would love, love to play on the channel. Because it's Yakuza. This game now is more uh, Japan exclusive that didn't have an international release. And it has cameos that's basically a love for the series. As well as it's done in medieval times. So, no, sorry. No, no, not medieval times. Uh, Dynasty times, I believe, is the uh, correct, ter correct terminology. Try to heal up a little bit here. But yeah, uh, with that in mind too, another thing I'd love to see in the comments as well is if you guys have a favorite Yakuza game, or if you guys like Yakuza or have some thoughts on the Yakuza series, definitely let me know in the comments. I'd love to see your thoughts on it. Because also, if I see enough support, I might just say the hell, uh, not the hell with it, but I might just shift things around hard just to, uh, play some more of those if there is enough support. That is the only kicker. If there's enough support for them, I'll definitely do it, hands down, without a question. And throw, uh, Yaksa stuff up on the channel. Otherwise, if not, I'll just go ahead and keep on route with the Naruto Connections and 
I can't remember what else is coming out this year. I think besides, like, Dragon Gaiden, Naruto Connections, I think there's one more that I was gonna, uh, outright play on the channel. Uh, for new releases this year. I think there's one more. They're on a blank. Because I'm not sure offhand. Oh, that's right. It was one I was questioning. Uh, it was the new um, Avatar game coming out in December. That was one that I was debating on. Oh, I remember now. Uh, there's a Walking Dead game that is going to be coming out. Walking Dead Destinies. Now, I would like to play that, but two kickers there. One, I prefer to have a physical release instead of just a digital, and they're doing one of those releasing it digital first and then releasing physical a month later. Which those are, I think the last one that did it was the GTA series, and that was uh, sketchy. Man, this one is tough. I am just missing those data packets. It's like every other one right there. But anyways, it's sketchy because of doing a digital release first and then doing physical next month. As well as uh, for The Walking Dead. I know it's a good series. I've seen some clips. It looks good. I I'll get a lot of backlash for this probably. I have not actually watched the series. My brother and my dad have told me recommended watching it. I just haven't like set aside time to actually watch it because I have a feeling that if I do watch it, I will get into it. I will enjoy it. But it's just getting to that point for me. That I don't know why I just haven't. Especially even before YouTube. I don't get why I never did. By the way, the other kicker of that, regarding not watching it, is the fact that it goes up to, I think my brother said it goes up to like season four, it looks like. For Walking Dead Destinies. So I'd have to watch the like four four seasons worth before that game comes out before playing it otherwise I won't know like what's coming up or the relevance of this choice and different things like that because like I said I don't have much knowledge of the series only the uh only some clips that I've seen, and that's from season one all the way up to whatever season they're on right now. Season... 11? 11? No. No, it's gotta be more than 11, right? Because it's been going since 2011, I believe. Dang, that's a long time for a series. That's pretty impressive. Duck farmers, ducks, past pastoral props. What? What is a pastoral prop? I have no idea. Please, please just let me get one star at least. That's all I want. Just one star. You are really ugly. How'd you get up there? That's awesome.
But anyways, that is a game I'm like heavily debating on playing, but I I'd love to play it. But and I think I will. But I don't know if I will play it in November or December. It'll probably be a later play one, just because I'm already spending quite a bit of money on various new games that have been coming out. I hate to just waste money, as well as I'd like to have a physical so that way in case my brother wants to play, it's just one game that we could play instead of uh, instead of him, him having to also buy a digital version of the game as well. That's another reason I like doing the physical stuff too, is the fact that if he wants to play, he doesn't have to buy the game. So that I can just go, hey, got the physical game right here, go ahead and play it. Save him some money too. Does it happen that often? Not really. But I like when I'm able to do that. Oh, I got the two-star. Well, how about that? Excellent. Didn't even realize it. Oh, actually, I forgot to say, too, you guys will be seeing progressively some Metal Gear. Uh, probably at some point in November, I'll start uploading some of that as well. Uh, cool, we got all those. Excellent. Anyways, the reason for that is because I am really looking forward to uh, Metal Gear Delta, which is the Metal Gear Solid 3 remake. And that should be coming out at some point next year. I think it's still marked for early next year, so I'm expecting within the first three months, four months. So... The Master Legacy Collection. I what I want to do is I want to play on their Metal Gear One and Two, possibly the Snake's Revenge, and then the uh, Metal Gear Solid as well. Metal Gear Solid and Metal Gear Solid Two. That way, we can we're uh, caught up on the story, and we can play Delta on the channel. Debating if I want to play through the. Uh, original Snake Eater, but we'll see. Ah, just like okay, I don't get so much how it's helping, but whatever. Okay, this one is kind of weird. Mainly just because of the whole uh, probing blisk out. It's a little weird. Makes it a little more challenging, though. Anyways, Metal Gear will definitely be something you guys will see as well. I don't know how soon this month, but I'll at least get the uh, first Metal Gear uh, playthrough it and up for you guys at some point in November. Metal Gear 2 I might do right after while... Well, I have controls uh, fresh on me and all, but don't know. Yeah, 
don't know, this one kind of feels just a little weird to me. The, the bliss part just kind of makes it slightly confusing. However, might actually get the three star for this. Maybe. We'll see. Ew, I think I only got two. Ah, I was just shy. One more. One more and I would have had it. I guess overall, you could probably call this video just like challenges and an update. I'll still call it just the um, Stroll Humans 2 challenges. But if you guys happen to watch it, you'll get all this update too. Dislocate or destroy cars. Use cars to kill humans. Oh. Okay, so it wants me to do one of these. Yes. I kill civilians and destroy the cars. All right. I don't necessarily see the best benefits of this since the cars just keep on. Okay, there we go. Next, yeah, otherwise, the cars were just immediately blown up. So that wasn't doing me any good for killing uh, humans. might be better just do that. Really. I don't know. Challenges are getting a bit more complex. Complex and a little convoluted. Wait, this count? He totally missed the vehicle, so I don't know. That? Probably not. As long as I can get a one star on this, I will be okay with that. Which we're almost there. Hey, there we go. Hey, the more I'm playing this, the more I really do hope they actually <laughs> remake the uh, Path of the Huron. <laughs> Love to play that game. So it was so good and so darn funny. I mean, obviously some jokes are would be aged, but still be good. Still be fun. People would love it. People would buy it, Nordic. And I mean, also, from the last, what well, was the main surge? I think the main surge of remakes was pretty much since, I think the Resident Evil 2 remake was like, uh, when they really started doing the big surge for uh, remakes was after that game came out, I think. Yeah, pretty sure. And remakes seem to have been, seem to have taken the place anyways of being like 
for sure you're gonna get money for. But also, that kind of depends on what kind of remake you do. Because, as everyone's seen, and probably is aware of right away, is the fact that there's there's simple remakes where they just take the game and make it available for modern platforms, like what they did with uh, Shin Megami Tensei 3. They just took the uh, HD version, poured it to uh, modern gen systems, or there's more in depth remakes, such as the Destroyal Humans 1, Destroyal Humans 2, this game, uh, Resident Evil 4. Last of Us Part 1, uh, Resident Evils 2 and 3, and I think there's another big remake too. Oh, I know there's Ishin, which from what I've heard does take uh, what was in the first game, and then there's some added stuff to it, which is awesome. Uh, no other ones come off the top of my head, but I do know there's quite quite a few, quite a bit. So people see them as easy money grabs, and I'd say it kind of depends on what you take with it, really. Like if you take the uh, Brilliant Diamond Shining, Shining Pearl, you might get sales, but you're going to lose a lot of the quality. Because people were expecting something like, uh, what was it? Uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield, or even just like a uh, uh, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Those are essentially remakes slash new games because it kind of tracks along. The uh, original Pokemon red, blue, yellow stories, but it takes its own liberties and gives you something that's familiar, but new. And those are some remakes that are awesome, but like, like I said, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, uh, the... HD remaster of Nocturne is essentially just a port, so I don't really call that a remake. I think it's fun and all, but boy is it a challenging game. That's also another one I gotta complete at some point on the channel. And I don't want to restart it for a third time, honestly. I, I feel like there was another... Oh, another bad example was the Grand Theft Auto Definitive Edition, sadly. Because I had really, really high hopes for that, for those to be, um, done awesome justice, and they, I'm not blaming the studio, it just sucks based on the situation regarding it, not situation, the, um, circumstances, because it could have been so much more, but it's not, so, they're there, um, they're not absolute uh, trash to play, but they're not necessarily the best versions of the game. So I'm kind of at the halfway point of it. That's so why I only did uh, Vice City, and I haven't played through any of the other ones. Uh, I will. That's another thing. The list just keeps going up. That's another thing that I love to do on the channel, but I just don't know when. At least a good thing will be when I play 3 in Vice City. Uh, since the game's been out for quite some time, uh, they should be running a lot better. Should be, anyways. Not necessarily that they will be. Especially because of the frustration I had with trying to get the last A, last business, to 
unlocked the final mission for the game. That was very frustrating. I remember that very well. Probably the worst part of Ice City right there, honestly, is uh, game break uh, game breaking glitches like that. So much more obscure and difficult. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely only getting one star on this. That's okay. Like I said, as long as I uh, pass them, I'm good. I'm happy. There's no achievement list for it, so I won't have like that urge. Especially because it's just a DLC, so I could have chosen not to download it. Or buy it and download it anyways, but I did, so it's my own doing. Hey, got two star. You could at least the Nice, so now... How close is the landing zone? Yeah, we'll head south. Uh, take the saucer south, do the race. Oh, it'll be a little bit quicker. I'm just skating across, or should be. Go ahead and cloak up here. Yeah, I think I might label this actually as a uh, challenges and update. I don't know, I'm still kind of iffy on it. Man, I forgot how much alien elements they put into the Blisk. They made them look so good. So much better than they did on the PS2 version. Not that the PS2 version was horrible by any means. It was the PS2. You can only do so much. But you got so much more detail on them. That instead of just looking like big, hulking creatures, they actually look like aliens. Crazy. I've almost ran out of stuff to talk about, honestly. You know what? Actually, probably what I'll call this will be like, uh, Trial Humans 2 Challenges in Chat. That, that sounds about right. Just kind of want something that sounds decent, but also sums up uh, what we're doing here. And also, in case you guys are wondering, I have not forgot about the uh, Resident Evil 4 mercenaries that I promised. Uh, I did actually want to wait for the Separate Ways DLC. And since we got it, now I can at least do a uh, pretty darn good chunk of characters. I I can't even remember all the characters that are actually available for it. But I do know with the separate ways, we'll actually have Ada and Wesker as well. 
which I'll probably do that, what, uh, either later today or tomorrow. Kind of see how everything works uh, schedule-wise because besides just trying to get to finally get caught up, uh, the recordings from Spider-Man 2 and Assassin's Creed Last Mirage. I'm uh, caught up on those as long as I get a consistent upload schedule for you guys, which before I used to have the criteria of at least uh, three videos per day. We'll do at least a criteria of uh, two videos per day. Just for now. Because weirdly enough, I think that's the thing that really uh, got me the most was that criteria of you'd have three videos. Oh no, some of these videos are 20 minutes. Oh no, others of these videos are uh, like almost an hour. How... It doesn't seem too worthwhile to really... I guess if I group them, actually? I don't know where you get the most uh, points from this stuff. Awesome, can do that. I think we got a good amount. A bar from killing the big blisk. Cool. Soldiers attacking me, having no idea what's going on. Alright, let's, let's just kill them. Effective ballistic gun. We at least get one star here. Oh, we're already at two stars. Nice. That might have actually been the best bet. Cool. Uh, just don't die, don't die. Running into that a lot now during these rampages. This guy. Oh, we got three stars. Nice. So now we just survive, really. Nice. 
Oh, and I didn't realize until just now how each one has its own uh, title. If that was Furon vs. Predator. Cool. So now we just gotta race here. And then we just got one more air... Whoops. Nope, not the rampage. Now we just got one more region to go. Which is the Solaris base on the moon. Which, funny enough, if they did do uh, Path of the Furon, then you would have another... Uh... Yeah, it does take place in Japan for one of the locations. Yeah, you would have another uh, Japan location. Very cool to see in a modern take. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Uh, as well as you get, still got... It's like two American locations. Uh, place, I think Paris, France. Got another space location. And I think there's one more I'm missing, but I can't recall. on a blank. Nah, I love when you can just fly right up the middle, or skate right up the middle, and just keep collecting. Because it's so much easier. Oh, and also, when we are actually uh, done with these challenges, I am going to check the trophies, or at least notification, just to see if it did pop up with the trophy list or not. If it did, it's going to be a nightmare for me. So I kind of hope not. Because I don't want my completionist urge to take over. I mean, I'll be honest, it is tough just not to do something with it the way it is now, just because of being a game that I really liked as a kid, and I really love playing through it, and it's remake version. But I almost want to, just to know that, hey, I did everything. I did the best that I could for everything in the game. But also there's the other side of me that goes, no way, the challenges are annoying and optional. I don't know, I might change my mind and just keep on, I'll probably keep on the PlayStation for a little bit. And when I got some stuff rendering, I might look at it and go, you know what, let's... Let's give some challenges a try. See if we can three-star some of them again. Alright, last location, Solaris. Oh, yeah. We're already at like an hour 44 or so. It's, it's definitely going to be a, a two-hour long video. So that'll be something. Uh, I guess let's just go north and then just head on south through the challenges then. I could definitely say the editing and uploading for Destroy All Humans 2 definitely was not that bad. But also it helped being more of a, uh, a mission based game. Where everything was separated by missions rather than uh, going here to there. It's like literally just consolidated to, alright, doing 
uh, whatever mission in Solaris and different things like that. Where is... The Pox drone for this here. What? So in other words, it should be here, but it's not, is what this is telling me. Let's go out to the main menu and then come back. Because that seems weird to me. I think I remember the moon being a little glitchy for some of the missions beforehand, but... It shouldn't be this way for the challenge DLC, then. Because the Pox drone's showing up there. So this Pax drone should be showing up. Hmm. What button is it to accept? I'll try accepting. Hold square. Okay. Hot tiger. I gotta see what's in here. Peace drugs. Oh, that's funny. I'm surprised I had not gone there before. So it won't even let me trigger it, really? Well, that sucks. That sucks, and it's stupid. Hopefully it's just one of those challenges that's blocked because of needing other one's done. Maybe. I hope. Because I hate to be locked out of that one after we've done so many already. I've probably done most of them, so why... Why lock and glitch one out? That's kind of more of what's uh, kind of frustrating me right now. Oh, actually, one thing I didn't say, speaking of the Yakuza games and Judgment, is actually currently, while I'm editing and uploading stuff, I have been taking some free time to, I guess not free time, but time in between, to uh, go through Judgment's story again, except on the Legend difficulty. And that's just... Kind of skipping through chapters, just not skipping through chapters, skipping through uh, cutscenes and stuff. Just trying to get the one trophy for you. Got to beat the stuff, beat it, beat the game on Legend. And I double checked on the Camaro Go just to make sure that that was not a requirement on there. Because that is a whole nother line of trophies regarding the Camaro Go stuff. Of uh, going to the restaurants, going to the stores, doing those missions, and so on and so forth. I knew I'd only get two. I missed way too many of the 
data packs. That's okay though. Um, that's the second race one. Huh. Okay, so when we go through this, we might have to actually miss the one. That sucks. Oh, you know what? I see. Okay, it might actually still be there, just underneath in the mines section. Which honestly makes a lot more sense. It's explosions to kill cosmonauts. Alright. Wait, what? Does that not count? Okay, screw it then. Let's just kill him without focusing on explosions. No! I was actually going to get some bonus there. Well, and how do you know what ones are coming out for the mines? Oh. They look just like that. I see. supposed to be like set up here like are they only coming out of the uh, one hole or are they coming out of multiple I mean what's what's going on here K01, something, something in the pot, seven days old. Okay. I'm sure there's a joke there. I'm just not getting it. Seriously, got dodge for cover here. Can I just cheat and go in the mines or what? No, the. Then what? This is getting seriously infuriating now. Got 
dodge for cover again. Jeez, Pete. different if it was very easy to find the guys, but it's not. Like, it should be big groups like that, but it's usually not. That's how these get very difficult. There's only like three entrances, right? Should be. I, I just don't want to get a one star for this, that way it's done. That is all I care about right now. sure where to find more explosives. They look different here. I know they're more of the square, but not really easy to use, apparently. Less than halfway. Time-wise, we're almost done. Try this one more time. If I can't get it this time, I'm not going to worry about it. That's how I'm feeling about that. All of them have been too bad to at least get done. Except this one. I guess let's try to find all the explosives that we can. Try to use them. That seems to be the biggest thing is you have to use it. 
don't, you will lose. These guys just came out from the mine then. Yes, they did. Good. Detonators. Excellent. Yes! Finally! One star. That's all I care about. Now I just gotta live. Just live for 40 seconds at least. That's all I need. Literally all I need. attempts. And when I finally get something, I'm actually getting two star instead of a one star. I can't believe I was screwing up that badly. Holy crap. Cool. Now... Let's head to the one that must be here in the mines, then. Ah, here it is. That should be a lot more relaxed from here. Whoa. I almost got hit with that thing. Space mining truck. <laughs> A little quiet right now, just because I'm just uh, enjoying the nice and easy path right now. And now uh, that I'm over the uh, frustration of that challenge, I can say they did a good job of making it challenging. Where if you do it a certain way, or if you uh, play to the advantage of wherever special condition they give you for bonus points, as long as you take advantage of that, you should at least get one star and be able to pass them first try. And that last one definitely proved it. 
Ah, I was doing so good. So that dust all got in the way. Eh, at least it looks like we'll have a two star. Trying to cut the corners a little sharper. Oh, really? Wow, that was very forgiving. Interesting. Cool, so now... Just keep heading on, head back up, and head south. Looks like we got four more to go. Uh, yep, four more to go. Cool. So, I guess we'll just loop down and then head west. Just kind of do like a big J. Abduction? Uh, yep. Take moon based items, bigger items, better. Cool. Should be easy enough. Hopefully. We have found the best. Please. Ah, people don't count. Darn it. Let's hope to get lucky. Best way always seems to be uh, get your back to the abduction ray. Now we can grab stuff and just throw. Instead of having to grab, turn, grab, turn. I don't like that there's not that many items, though. That's concerning. Oh, an APC. Perfect. At least I think it's an APC. Looks like it. Not entirely sure what APC stands for, though. I guess this armored... Armored something convoy? Or armored person. Oh, armored personnel carrier, I believe. If you guys know for sure, let me know in the comments. I'm probably wrong, though. I'm sure I at least got one or two of the actual words correct, though. That's how confident I feel with my answer, which is not very. Ah, just survive. Just survive. Solaris Smash. And I do know... Probably not the best uh, video to say it in, but... There will actually be some older games that we'll be playing as well. Like, not just all that came out a couple of years ago and the older series that I've done. No, by older games, I really do mean older games. 
don't want to say too much about it, but um, with Metal Gear Solid and Spider-Man recently, it's it's got me thinking. So there's definitely going to be uh, some more um, more games that are like special to me that are like, going to be coming to the channel. Won't be newer, but they will be older. But just because they're older doesn't mean they aren't good or fun games. And you'll see why I say that. Uh, enter the second dome and write OK. What? Use the iron detonator to destroy everything? Okay. Is the bliss going to get out there? I'm guessing. actually a bit more, um... Oh, Iron Detonator or the Disintegrator. Okay. Okay. Just let me heal up here. Definitely use the Disintegrator, right? the multiplier actually changes. That's cool. Use Gasto Gast Row to destroy everything. Okay. This one is actually quite fun. It's challenging. Go, go, Gasto! Alright, sorry about that cut. My dog kind of went uh, crazy barking at something. So I had to see what it was. Extract brain. Ah. Look out, monkeys. I like this Colosseum aspect. It's awesome. Oh, it's actually libelous. Destroy humans. Nice. I wish this mission was called Destroy All Humans, though. That would be the icing on the cake. Yep, I knew the Blisk was probably going to be coming out. Use that to kill everything. Alright. Oh, I guess the Blisk does not hurt that much by the zap itself. Or just for the shield. So close to a three star. Let's just get a three star. Come on. Dislocator. Oh, come on. I mean, we should be getting it here. Right? Yeah, 
there we go. Oh, a new bliss has come in. Excellent. This velocity jetpack upgrade. What, that? Excellent. Also, if you hear some uh, chewing in the background, that is actually my dog chewing on a treat. Did that as an incentive for him to hopefully stay a little quiet. Love the big boy, though. <laughs> Love him, even though sometimes he makes recordings a bit more difficult. That's okay. actually gotten fortunate a couple of times where he'll be laying on the bed and he'll actually be pretty quiet so I can actually do some uh, solid recording. We're almost done with these challenges though so after that I can probably get him some lunch. And then in just a little bit after that I can probably just go ahead and do some recording. Dead Island 2 DLC. So I still really want to get some of that this morning. So that way I can get it up since already from when it was released I'm like... I think, I think if I had it up today it would be two... No, three days late because it came out on Thursday. It's ironic how these Armageddon ones are pretty much a gimme. At least when you have so many upgrades, it's a gimme, I should say. He's back to look out the window, so hopefully he doesn't get loud. We'll see. If he does, there might be another pause here. Especially because after this, there's just one more challenge. Sadly, based on the icon, I think it's another abduction. Which those I'm not crazy for. They're challenging, don't get me wrong, but... I don't know, just never found them that fun. For this one, at least you're destroying a whole bunch of stuff, so that's pretty much where the fun comes from. Awesome. Another one down. Now let's see that last one. Dang it. I was right. It is an abduction. At which point I'll probably tell me to grab some Blisk stuff and throw it in there. Blisk base is cool though, for sure.
Uh, abduct, abduct Blisk items from base, grab human props. Human props? Two star, I'll take it. And that should be it for the challenges then. Any trophies? Nope. Uh, pretty sure we did them all. Perfect. Well, hope you guys enjoyed. And, well, hope you guys enjoyed the Destroy the Humans 2 challenges. Hope you guys enjoyed, uh, just the talk. Uh, I've learned some updates on the channel and what's going on. And if you have any thoughts on what we talked about here, of games coming up, games you guys would be interested to see play, uh, definitely leave a comment and let me know. I could probably do that both at. Hope you guys enjoyed. Take care. Have a great day.